Hey Lag Nation, welcome back to the Lag Channel, bringing you another Lag video. We hope you guys enjoyed, let's get right into it. Hey you guys, this is my tar buckle. And like Bar Maniac. Uh, today we're going to do an in-depth look at all three of the trailers that came out. So first, we're just going to let all three of those trailers play, and then after that we'll go through and we'll talk about each trailer as they go, and we'll sort of do it like a uh, like a stream. You know, there really won't be that many cuts or anything. We'll just go through and pause and talk about each individual thing as it happens. All right, enjoy the trailers. <laughs> Exosuit is now complete. Even though this technology will save humanity in the war to come. I must remind myself. Liquid crystal cannot rise on its own. Titanium alloy cannot prevail in the face of extinction. Armor cannot hope. It all means nothing. Until you step inside. Already? I, I must be, I mean, this is a punishment, right? Yep, this is death. No! No! No, 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 no! This isn't happening. I'm going to have to make an emergency landing. Hold on, shit! I'll be safe. <laughs> safe? I haven't been safe since I found you. I found you, remember? You were out there on your own and you'd still be out there if it wasn't for me. I thought I was going home. There won't be a home if we don't stop the banished. You keep saying that. We're outgunned, outnumbered. I know I saw condors over there. I'm going to dig through them and find one with the working sleep space drive. And when you're done with this war, we'll get away from here. Far away. Wait here. Oh. Please. Let me see what I can find. Cannons first. When I get back, we can look. Together. <sighs> okay, big guy.
lost this war months ago. Your people are broken, scattered, hunted, defeated by me. I wish I could tell you it was difficult, but it wasn't. <laughs> we are one step ahead, always. The ring is already under our control. Soon, the auditorium as well. The Harbinger and the Banished share the same goal. We fight together to honor the will of Atriarchs. But without challenge, I grew weary, lost. This first trailer. The Mjolnir exosuit is now complete. I think the only part that I'd really want to talk about this trailer, and the only thing that really sticks out to me, even though this technology will save humanity in the war to come, is the fact that it doesn't sound like Halsey's talking. It sounds like Cortana. Cortana. Yeah. Liquid crystal cannot rise on its own. I also don't get the bit about liquid crystal. Titanium alloy cannot prevail in the face of extinction. No, it's just mentioning like the armor. Like the armor is nothing without armor the person inside. Oh, okay. I got that part from the uh, armor isn't hope part, but it all means nothing. That that face back there looks so. Let me go back to that. That right there. Look how detailed this is. <laughs> I know. That is insane. That, I'm I'm not even sure if that could possibly be. Like, look at the like, individual pores right here. Like, this is insane. You can see his blackheads on his nose. That's what I'm thinking. That that can't be CGI. That's that's crazy. Because also look at the eye. Like uh, near it the. It doesn't look real. Bottom. Though. It doesn't look real to me. I don't know. I think we've come to the point where <laughs> CGI and real life are just... It's the same. Yeah, I guess so the biggest takeaway from this trailer is that it's really like... 
It's just a teaser. It doesn't really have much to do with the game. It's just, it's talking about the armor. So I guess, you know, from three to four, they said that uh, nanotechnology is what made the armor change between those games. So this is cool that they actually show it making a brand new set of armor. It's not the same one Chief has always worn, you know. It's a brand new set, which I think is really cool. I guess, I mean, from Halo 1 to 2, that was a different set of armor. Well, <laughs> Honestly, this was more like an opening for the entire presentation than yeah. just something for Halo. Yeah, so this scene right here with just his armor, and I think it says become. Yeah, it does right here. Yeah. So right here where it says become, it just looks a lot like the um, Halo Legends uh, armor set. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Just like the lighting and the color, I guess. I really like the screen. You know, there's actually lava up on the top right. Am I dead already? I, I must so be cool. <laughs> we can pause that for the later analysis then. Yep, this is death. So right off the bat, everything looks really cool. I don't necessarily like how he's getting shot. It looks like it's shooting the glass, and it doesn't do anything mm -hmm. to the glass. But, um... It's really nice. So the, the graphics look really good. And that scene right there, let me go back to that real quick. Right here. This is just a Halo 2 vibe. Like, um... I'm pretty sure there's a scene in Halo 2 where Chief is standing behind someone in the cockpit of a pelican, and it looks just like this scene. Um, actually, it's Johnson behind two I, different pilots. I know, I know that part too. With the that's that's the part with the scarab where it shoots down two of the three pelicans. Mm -hmm. Um, or maybe even all three. I can't remember exactly, but yeah, that's the vibe I'm getting from that scene. So that's like Halo 2 nod right there. There's actually something from this trailer from every Halo game. So this is like no, landing no. on the Halo ring you, I can stand from this. Halo One. Oh, you are free. No, you don't get to tell me what to do. You don't get to tell me anything. We're. Uh, I've heard some people are wondering why the hell Bro Hammer is so pissed off, but honestly, me and that situation are probably being no, safe. Yeah, so um, the thing that I read, this whole scene right here, I been safe since I found you. he I acts remember? very normal. I like this. I like how he's not like. I thought I was Chief isn't a bad guy, so you don't have to worry about losing your temper in front of him. He's just another person that. that's. Super strong, but like I like how the humanity that they show in this guy. I know I saw He's not just like bending his knee to to chief and and you know being nice or whatever. Like he's actually telling him how he feels and everything. Please. He's not the type of guy to give the rocket launcher and take the plasma pistol. I swear to God, dude, if they if they kill off Brohammer in this game, I'm I'm gonna be pissed. Okay. One out of ten. Cancelled. <laughs> so right off the bat here, um, notice that it was a seamless transition. Like, let me go back just a second here. Still the cut scene. It reminded me of uh, ODST. They tend to do that as well. Yeah. Where the last few seconds of the cutscene is right before the transition. Like it just Obviously went there's a lot smoother. there. That's so great. That's awesome. And then, um, besides all the land around, which, so, in these trailers, the only thing I don't like is all of these pillars, um, where the ground has started to shoot out of the halo ring. I hope there's more texture in the final game, rather than just these blank, uh, they honestly look like forge pieces. It looks like someone just put down blank... No they texture, do. They're, no detail. They're a little blocks. bit too reflective. Yeah. There needs to be some sort of small detail on them. Like, and, I, and I'm I'm sure that the reason they're there is because, and later we'll see in the map, but the whole map, like, larger scale, like, the whole areas you play in are all broken up into sections, and I'm pretty sure that's how they break them up, is these walls. Um, but I mean, that'd then, be pretty nice without including the return to combat in yeah. 10 seconds or whatever. 
So real quick before I unpause this, just a few things I want to point out. We have birds. Then there was some like armadillo looking weird creatures uh, skittering on the ground. So wildlife. And we, we kind of already knew wildlife was going to be in the game, but I didn't realize to this extent. Like that's a lot of wildlife in the full trailer so far. And then um, not subtle at all. Um, I don't remember the ammo count for the assault rifle in the original or the other Halo games. I know it was sixty four in Halo C E. Um, this one looks like it's thirty six for the ammo counter. Uh was it like thirty four? I believe or Reach Reach was also thirty six and uh Halo three was thirty two and I think Halo five was thirty two as well. Okay. Um, and then another But considering thing. this assault rifle is the model that they use for the UNSC Army, which is the same as Reach, it makes perfect sense to have 36 instead. Yeah. Um, another thing that I want to point out, actually a few things that I don't think a lot of people have pointed out, if you look at the ammo counter on the weapon itself, underneath it, it says S117. It knows that Master Chief is holding the assault rifle. Hmm. <laughs> And then um, over on the left side, underneath your radar, it's 31 meters. So I know that that's, I want to say that's close to twice the size, if not more than twice the the, the area of Halo 5s. Isn't Halo 5s pretty short? It was like 15. The, it was 15, somewhere around there, yeah. Um, mm. And then obviously I know other people have pointed this out so many times, but the grappling hook is down here as RB. Um, I think it's called the grab grapple hook, or something like that. Grapple hook. But anyways, let's play this and see. So there's those weird creatures. Um, I love the classic grunts. Those orange ones right there. They look really nice. In there. Oh, let me go back. This right here. I. I'm not a fan of the shield recharge. The the. The, the gold things. How do you feel about that, Rob? I like them. But since I don't know how it looks like in third person, when those shields are going back up, I don't know if those hexagons would be appropriate. We'll have to see when the game or the beta comes out. And maybe they did it on purpose, but I think the big thing that I don't like about them is just how much room they take up on your screen. For the most part, they seem pretty... Like, this one down here on the right, you can't really see through it, but I think if I unpaused it, they fade away to look like these over here, and this one up here that you can see through. But it's just, I'm not a fan of how much room they take up. I, it's very, um, there's a lot of visual noise with it. Everything else, though, is just beautiful. Yes, it is. Okay, if someone else, if I see someone else say that this is the infinity... <laughs> It pisses me off so much. This is nowhere near the size of the infinity. Nowhere near. No, like more than a thousand of these right here could make up. Wouldn't even make up the 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 infinity. This is way too small. That's like a hallway in the infinity. <laughs> I'm not even that. Probably just a few rooms yeah, at most. Yeah, it's 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 that dumb. And there we got our first look at Banished vehicles. Yeah, the Banished. So I, I think it's really cool that the Banished have their own Phantom. I, however, am not a fan of this Phantom. It is too blocky to me. I like the, the bulbous, roundest version of the original Phantom. Or at least, not the original ones, but the ones from Halo 3 were my favorite. It and still then, goes with the aesthetic that the Banished go for, which is... Yeah, definitely does. Angles. So, harsh angles. So I'm going to pause it right here. A few things to note. Um, when they brought out the Mega Bloks kit, they actually didn't have this shielding on the turret. They had the original one from the Halo 3, which was like angled on the top right and the top left mm -hmm. more, um, which I actually prefer the Halo 3 version more. This looks a lot like the Halo 5 Warthog, and I'm not too much of a fan of it. Um, also not a fan of the way that it sounds in this, but... I really like the way that it looks like it drives. Like, it looks like it has shocks, and, like, you can tell that the Warthog is absorbing the um, the vibrations and stuff of going over bumps and everything. 
And I think it reminds me a bit cool. of how it used to drive in Halo Reach. Yeah, a little bit. Um, and then a few things I want to point out in the background that I actually didn't notice until I just now paused this. Here's the one turret. It's on the right. And then the other one is kind of middle top. Those are the other two turrets that he doesn't go to in the beta. But um, I guess that's where they are. And this is giving me Halo 4 vibes right now with all the wreckage everywhere. Just like that first mission of, or second mission of Halo 4. Oh, okay. So let me get to this. Okay. So I guess the yellow thing shows what mission is in each area. And this is like an island. So, and they mentioned something about getting off the island. Or, oh, this right here. We're not leaving this island until we take out the banished AA cannons. There are three of them. They're heavily defended. Proceed with caution. And so you got the one, two, and three. Um, I'm guessing this star right here of 320, that's that's uh, like experience points maybe or something like that for the game. That um, you can use for those upgrades we can see on yeah, the top left. I'm guessing that's what that is too. Um, here's your difficulty. Uh, normal. And I'm guessing this little diamond next to it that might be your rank, and I'm not sure, but that looks like the recruit symbol or something like that. Um, and then these two last things, I'm not sure what these are. They, I, I, since I play a lot of games that tend to be open world like that, it might be letting you know what sort of things you can find. For example, uh, for let's say banished fortifications that are not part of the actual cannons that you can go to and find things in. Mm, yeah. I was thinking of collectibles almost, but the like mm -hmm. there's not even a skull thing like to tell you that there's a skull in this area. Um and another thing I want to point out is so we have the TACnet map that's what we're on. Upgrades, that's what we talked about this might be for and it's looking that way. I mean, I don't know what else that would be for. And then database. The database might actually be where you find um, well, they had intel in Halo 5 where you could pick up things and, and find intelligence stuff and just random uh, data logs and stuff. And it could also be where the skulls are found. Mm -hmm. and then, yeah, that's probably it. Yeah. So, Rob, is this what you're talking about? The sentinel wall or something over here? This thing? Mm-hmm. Honestly, it's... I don't mean that it has to be keeping out the flood, but... I don't think those are sentinels, though. Those are just pillars. I think they, they're just, like, forerunner pillars. It's some sort of energy barrier wall. I don't know. It seems damaged to at least broken in some sections. Yeah, right here, especially. But over here, here, yeah. This looks like a weak spot, though, right here. Mm -hmm. That we maybe fly through and get to at some point. Um, also, so if these are gun battery positions i wonder what this is right here this mission and i believe later on when around the map we can see other ones in that island as well okay um and then so i'm actually annoyed with this bar at the bottom because it's youtube but this says b for close a for set waypoint lt and rt for zoom y is how you view your mission um, right stick, if you click it in, it'll probably zap onto the player. And then X is start mission. So I guess you have to start missions to, to be able to complete them. Like, so I guess you can free roam and then activate your mission and play it. So, and these all say the same thing, but this AA cannon is controlled by a command console inside a control room underneath the cannon. Use the weapon to hack use the weapon to hack into the console and destroy them. And uh, that's what all three of them say. And they all look to be normal difficulty. So I'm wondering if like certain objectives are harder difficulties or, or what. I would assume that if you chose like normal difficulty nothing would be above that in the game but if you chose legendary it could be like a mix of all all things okay so here's what we're gonna get into to, um to pausing it a bunch at least there we're seeing that uh grunts are back to having blood I, I didn't see any on the floor 
but from the shot it was a lot of blood and it was blue again yeah. not that green stuff that they had for the last two games so here we plasma pistols on the ground right there and later it actually okay. notice that for the plasma pistol we didn't see that description that's been giving so some of the other guns it pops up sometimes and it pops up later i think right when he turns around after killing this um elite and by the way that's a great classical looking elite that's like very halo 2 anniversary style i really like that it could um, be that they only have them for the newer weapons so this is this is a newer weapon right here, Pulse Carbine. It says it's an assault rifle. It shoots plasma, and it's a burst weapon. So that's that's from the guy that we just killed. Oh, and there in the back, you can see plasma, grenades, needler. Yeah, over on the rack. we can actually. There they are. Plasma. That's perfect. Plasma pistol. That's going to be the pulse rifle that they just showed. And there's the needler. Yeah, Pulse Carbine. Or Pulse Carbine, my bad, yeah. And then the two plasma. And then this is the VK-78 Commando. It's a tactical rifle, uh, kinetic, and auto. So I'm not, I'm not really sure what the... The last one was assault rifle, plasma, and burst. burst. So this is kinetic, so I guess that means like actual ammo bullets. Mm -hmm. It could also mean... Uh... For example, you know that plasma weapons tend to uh, take shields faster when kinetic takes down health faster. Yeah, and that's actually so something you can see something later on in the in the in this trailer. So this weapon just kind of looks like a automatic DMR to me. It kind of looks like the scar. Well, we know that BR and DMR can be fully automatic according yeah. to the books. So we got banished brute coming in here, and and I don't know if you guys just noticed that, but he shoots him in the leg when the brute is charging, and this which um, makes him stumble. Yeah, this makes him stumble. Watch him stumble right, right there. He stumbles, and then he shoots. And I don't know if you guys noticed that, but shooting certain areas will break certain armors on the brutes and stuff. So right in front of him on the ground here is a drop wall. And uh, currently in his list, he has a plasma grenade and the grapple. He's going to pick that up, and it's going to replace the grapple, I guess. And I'm not sure how he switches between these, but but he throws it down, and then he has the grapple again. So when you're standing behind the drop wall, you can shoot through it, but they can't shoot or throw grenades at you. So, uh, I think if we go back here, we can actually see that sliding is in the game. A little bit further back. Right there. That was the slide. Go back and do that again. Right when he leaves this, he's gonna slide to the right. Right there. He ducked and slid. And then did this. Exactly. It didn't look like a thruster at all. Yeah. I kind of thought it was at first, but he does that duck animation, which really shows that it's... Um... And I think something that's worth pointing out right there is he pushed the switch and it didn't go into an animation like Halo 4. That was... I hated that. Stop it right there. What do you think that tower is back there? Could that possibly have to do this. with the auditorium that they mentioned later on? So, I think that that's the Palace of Pain. Um, I have no idea what that means. In the books, the Palace of Pain is something that the Forerunner... Um, mendicant bias and the oh man what's the what's the, the precursor the precursor and mendicant bias would <clears throat> um lure people there to do flood experiments on them so they would lure okay. uh, ancient ancient uh humans there and they would do experiments and the way they described it in the book is it's a really tall tower that the top is obscured by the clouds and every time we've seen it, we've actually been able to see the top. But if you look at these clouds around it, they're definitely lower than the tower itself. So that could very well be possible. And it says it's about a, kilom a kilometer across. Um, that looks pretty massive up there. So I would say that that, met, that mm -hmm. more or less... And that's that even considering that the mountain mm -hmm. that we see close to it is actually in front of it. So yeah, we don't know exactly how far back it goes. 
Um, also, I didn't notice this before, but this looks like a UNSC, some sort of gun, right here. I'm not really sure what that is. I think it's just the remains of, uh, possibly a pelican or condor. It's possible. Just Oof, mad. that music. I really like this small change they made to the Halo theme. Keeping it fresh, but also, you know, respecting yeah. how weird it was. That's so weird right there. Looking at that, um, look how, how that jackal is just standing straight up. It looks like the, um, we've never seen them in game, but I think they're called prelates or something like that. I'm, I'm not sure the exact name, but they're like armored up, um, Stan Shayum, the prophets, and they mm -hmm. look very similar to that, standing up, which that's a completely different race than species than the than the prelates, but uh, that's kind of what they look like. So this right here is called the Ravenger. I don't know if you guys noticed it down here in the bottom corner of the screen. It looks like it's a three-round burst, um, explosive shot plasma weapon that the brutes use it kind of looks like it's the successor to the um brute shot the brute shot and the spiker like combined because like the the blades on the front whereas the brute shot had the blade on the back or or you know what the concussion at least in the wars too it's like they the concussion still use the spiker yeah, yeah concussion rifle actually that's a really. That, that's the. That's it's probably the greatest comparison of the concussion rifle, and it's three round burst, a little bit weaker. Mm -hmm. Here's the pulse carbine. He picks up as a secondary. There goes the bandage, leaving explosives. I am all out of the open. The shield recharge works. Real quick, let me um talk about that just a second because he's in the middle of a firefight. And I'm maybe, sure some of this stuff is scripted. Maybe he hasn't gotten shot. Enough or something, but it happened like while he was getting shot at, at least on my screen. Okay, so he's gonna pick up this. It's called the Mangler, if you guys can see down here on the bottom right. And it looks a lot like the uh, the Mauler from Halo 3. I think it's basically the upgraded version. This is one of the Mega Blocks, uh, Mega Constructs weapons that we've seen. And um, if you guys pay close attention right after he picks this up, he uh, most likely hits up on his D-pad to see where the objective is, like you can in the other Halo games. But it did an Artemis tracking sort of yellow scan. And I'll point it out over here on the right, he'll be able to see a fusion coil through the rock that he scanned. So he does this, and that objective okay, was up there. I see it. Right on the there right. There's several yeah. ones. Yeah. There we go. There they are. These, there looks like there's four right here. You can see him through the rock because he did that. And then it tells him his uh, objectives up here. Grapple hooks up there, which is cool. And it, this, this, so the, uh, the Mauler in Halo 3, um, Mauler in Halo 3 was like a, a mini shotgun. So he grapples this, which is, this is actually what I thought the grappling hook would only be used for, but evidently he can pull himself towards things as well. And I'm a actually, bit disappointed that the explosion from that fusion coil did not destroy the turret. That, that's what I said too. Uh, but Sabo pointed out that that turret has shields on it, so I don't know if like normally it would or what. But if you look at this right here, this console... Mm -hmm. with the blue thing on top of it if we were to go back to this screen it's that shape right here that's the same shape i think these are consoles that you grab throughout the mission mm -hmm. it's similar but i don't i don't think it would be you don't think it's the same it's the right size no to me it looks pretty close but i mean this one looks a little shorter than the one that we just saw he throws that. That's so cool that you can throw fusion clothes. I never even thought of doing that in Halo before. Bunch of different kinds of fusion coils too. It looks like uh, energy ones and power ones. So this is the um... 
What was this the called? Bulldog. Yeah, the bulldog. The it's a semi-automatic Which I'm not shotgun. that much of a. I'm not much of a fan of it. You I'm know? gonna be fully honest. I think it looks pretty fun. I feel like it should have had more recoil and maybe a uh, a louder and lower sounding shot when it shoots. It just sounds weak in my opinion. But it's called the, the CQS forty eight Bulldog. It looks like it uh I don't know how many it has normally, but once it reloads we might see. Oh, I don't think he does reload this one. Okay. So this is cool because it does do the animation here, but it's because it's a cut. Transitioning perfectly into a cutscene. Yeah, that's really nice. So a lot of people thought that this was Hyperius, um, because that was one of the mega mega construct Spanish bad guys that had Locke's helmet on the uh, shoulder mm -hmm. plate. But this guy is called Esherum. And I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that pronouncing that right, but it's like E S C H U R some Esherum basically. Um, he seems cool, I guess. I love how he's gloating about it. This line right here. And that honestly will be his downfall. I like it though. That's very, oh. that's very um, brute of him to just be like gloating about it. And a lot of people were probably thinking, "Oh, brutes are just the big dumb oafs. How can they lead the ban banished?" Technically, the brutes were just short of forerunners and technology. Like they were the next step, like between us and forerunners, because uh, they used to be very, very advanced. And then two clans of the brutes fought each other, and basically nuked each other into the dark ages, and they're all just dumb again. I don't know. I just feel like this guy really embodies what the brute should have been. And a lot of people are complaining about the way he looks. And I will say he he has a cartoon look to him. I think his teeth are way too clean for a brute. And uh, there's not really much texture to his skin either. He looks very um, like a Sea of Thieves variation yeah. of a brute, in my opinion. But <laughs> other than I that, I think it's just the the it, beta. It's just the yeah, yeah. Because there's a trailer that we're gonna watch next where everything's textured a little bit better, and I'm sure it's even improved from then. Four months from now, when the game comes out, or whenever it does. Now, before we continue on with this. Uh, we can see that there were not only UNSC forces, but there were Oni. We got some ODST units as well that were in the area before everything that happened. We have the Infinity near uh, Master Chief's rib. So we know the Infinity was involved, at least at, at the first part of the conflict. It's so likely that they were forced to fall back. I'm not sure if that's very accurate, because each one of these says infinity next to it oh okay so i think these are all forces from the infinity um i'm guessing the ship was forced to fall back after being under heavy fire i do want to point out something that i just now noticed it shows the rank of each of these people next to them and these are the halo reach ranks i specifically remember That's this true. one right here that one was a higher a little bit higher up yeah, and what's really sad is the fact that all of these are dead. Are dead. They're all dead. <laughs> yeah. Is already under our control. I feel like that's what the, this is what the end game's gonna look like. This is very detailed. Um, this scene right here though just seems awkward to me. Uh, wait for it. This one right here. Where is Master Chief looking? He just looks like he's dead. Like, I know he's in a suit of armor, but he's just looking straight forward, not paying attention. That's <laughs> uh, because he's, uh, you know, just dumping exposition, and Chief's just like, oh. <laughs> okay, so listen to what um, Eshron says here. The heart and the banished share the same. 
We fight together to honor the will of Atriarchs. So he said the Harbinger and the Banished fight together. I think that the Harbinger are the Covenant, basically, like a Covenant faction. I wouldn't say faction. They're the ones that look like Covenant. So like the blue elites, the purple grunts, mm -hmm. you know, the ones that aren't red, the ones that don't look like Banished, but they're all working together on the same team. And I they're wonder fighting. if they're a mercenary force, a post-Covenant faction, what they exactly could be. Well, if you look at the, the Halo constructs that are coming out, and you see uh, like a set that comes with a grunt, sometimes that grunt will be called Grunt Conscript. Why Conscript? Why not just a Banished Grunt? And that could just be a name that they refer to anyone that's not part of the Banished, but that they've hired to work with the Banished. That could also be a possibility. So I think that they're like conscripted into the Banished to help fight, to boost their forces and... And that sort of thing. Also, I don't know. These big knives or whatever they are on his chest. It just reminds me of the legendary symbol. Yeah, it has uh, two swords across. Yeah. Also, Will of Atriox. Either something has happened between Halo Wars 2 and this game. And Atriox is actually dead. Or what I believe, personally, is in Halo Wars 2 they trapped him on the Ark. They destroyed his only ship that they had there, and it takes about 18 months to slip space to the Ark unless they use the portal on Earth. I don't think they know that he is alive still. They either think he's dead or know they can't get to him or just don't know if he's alive or dead because they need to get to him. Because I would assume that his, um, his mode of communication has also been cut off since the ship was cut off. That makes absolute sense, yeah. But no, I do doubt he's dead, 100%. But they do believe he's missing. Yeah, I definitely doubt that he's dead. They might think he's missing, they might think he's dead, but I don't actually think he's I also don't think we'll find him in the main game, maybe down the line in DLC content, um, if they add D DLC content for the story, but I don't think he'll actually be. I believe uh, uh, this boot war chief will be the one that's going to be the main antagonist, not yeah. Not Atriox, at least not in this one. Well, at least not in the base game. Yeah. I like this next line that he says. Set a fire in your heart, Spartan. Yeah, that. I like that. Those lines set a fire in your heart, Spartan. I thought that was a really cool line. That, I mean, I kind of toned out while listening to this guy, to be honest. And then when he said that, I thought it was really cool. Obviously, he has a scar along his right eye, and it's blind. Um, this looks very demonic, but cool. This eye over here, and his teeth. You sure remember them in Halo Three? They used to have reddish eyes. Yeah, I like that. Oh. Um, I do not like his teeth. They are way too clean. And then just his skin does not look that well textured. It looks blurry around his nose and his lips, but his cheek seems to be pretty clear. His forehead is blurry again. I think that's just demo syndrome. So yeah. I'm pretty sure by the final product, it'll be a lot more better. Let's move to the last trailer. Let me go get that one. All right. So here is the last trailer. I actually don't think a lot of people have seen this compared to the rest because they didn't really expect there to be another trailer drop. They just kind of thought the one in the, the event would be it. So this has a few things, and it's very short snippets that we'll have to pause and look at because uh, they go by pretty quickly. Spartan, we thought you dead. We thought you dead. So just... I'm going to pause it each time and kind of look. So I think this is Harbinger. Like, purple brute, blue elites, you know, just not red, guys. Look at this sword right here. I think this is basically the Halo 2 sword. And I'm not a fan of it. I think it goes way too high up here on the end, like. It, it's it's a weird shape to me, but 
you know, it, it's probably gonna function okay. the same. You, you see that bump? Uh, when you go further back towards the blade, you'll see that it suddenly changes. I think that's just the effect that goes around it that's uh, making it seem a lot. It's also the way he's holding it, too. Because, like, this part is really close to the camera, and then he has this more straight out. If it was over mm -hmm. to the side, it would look longer and not as weird. Well, he is lunging at that moment, so... Yeah. I wonder if there's little things... That, so that's the pulse carbine. Here's a needler. Got his grapple hook on his left arm. This thing right here... What do you think this is? This might be a teleport. I think that's... No, I think that's the base of the turret. Oh, okay. Uh, it's that around. It's it's around the same spot where it, where it was. So, I think this might be the crash site for the condors that he was talking about in the beta. Not sure. This is just me grasping at straws and guessing, but that's kind of what it feels like. And also, look at the texture of this mulch and stuff over here. Like, like. To the left, this just looks so good. And that's not stuff we we were seeing in the yeah demo. Definitely not. This is like how they've retextured it a little bit more, and they're still missing textures. But let's see. This is actually new textured. This didn't have all these. Like here's different shades of gray on the back side. There's this little red light. You know the lines are more prominent. It's not just all one matte color. It's a. It's got different different colors to it. Okay, so there's a red elite, and that was a blue elite. I wonder if... I wonder how they're gonna work with the two different factions. Here's that big building again, the Palace of Pain, or whatever one thinks it is. God, his armor looks so good. Same area, but fought, fought it differently. Okay, we're gonna get the uh, another weapon here in a second. Oh, actually, let me go back real quick. What was? Hmm. What was this this thing that he? Like did? a shot grenade. Yeah, I, uh, that's that's not something that uh, we've seen before. No, and it's stunning everyone, even if they have shields or not. Yeah, let me let me go back here. I can't... It might have more of a anti-vehicle role for the most part. Yeah, so here it is on his hand. It looks really weird. Um, it looks brute made. This is also not. I think this was made in theater mode. So. That's that's weird. Okay, so I don't think I've seen anyone talk about this before, but this is most likely made in the theater mode of the game because look, his weapons aren't showing in the bottom right. His radar is not on the left side. There's no shield indicator at the top. It's just a blank screen of him fighting. Um, so that makes me think it's in theater, and they've turned off the UI. Mm -hmm. Um, so this thing, shot grenade, take away everyone's shields. That's gonna be cool. Um, right here. We got a glimpse of the BR back there. Yeah. Here we go. Right here. This looks like if you took the Halo 3 and the Halo 2 BR and you combine them, honestly, I'm going to say this isn't the, the, the final textured version. This looks very plain on the side. Um, the lens doesn't have any detail at all. Like you, you can't really tell it's a lens. It just looks like a piece of metal stuck in there. 36 ammo counter on it. Don't think there's much more on that, but that's the battle rifle. Ooh, look at this screen. What does this remind you of, Rob? Specifically in this area right here. What other game? Uh, Minecraft. Yeah, that's what I thought too. <laughs> Just looks like Minecraft over there. Um, ooh, actually, there's one of those beacons that shoots up in the sky, and I believe yeah. that's one right over here, too, as well, peeking up. This is going to be a really fun game. And this, if you notice, it. this area is really close to the broken part of the ring. Yeah. You can see it. 
This oh, is... and you can, if you look down there, it looks like, uh... This right here, broken. Mm hmm Yeah. It does. I think that's pretty much everything covered that I can think of. Do you have any, uh, final thoughts, Rob? The reveal maybe wasn't what a lot of people expected, and I can understand why they'd be disappointed, especially since it's obvious the demo was from a few months ago, probably... It was probably yeah. ready by May for when E3 happened. But the game has a lot of potential. And yeah. I think we should wait for more before we start judging too harshly. Yeah, definitely. I think we'll probably see a beta, or not a beta, but a flighting program starting in August. That's my predictions on it. Here's hoping. Yeah. I, I hope I don't have to wait too long. I, I think, need more Halo Infinite. Was it you that was telling me this? Someone was saying that there was a Sony event later on in August. It was Sabo. Okay, yeah. And um, so that might be, you know, Xbox might have held back a little bit so they can reveal more around Sony's reveal date. That way uh, they can kind of compete with them. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked it, just comment, uh, subscribe, share the video. Comment down below, though, what you think uh what your thoughts are on it and if i missed anything so that's going to do it for today if you guys enjoy the video make sure to smash that like button and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button as well and make sure to click the notification bell to stay caught up with all our juicy like videos catch you guys next time